Good morning. Um, I've produced a lot of output recently and I've said most of what I think I needed to say. I'm sure I'll think of other things to say at various times. But for now let's just uh, put the record straight. Uh, I have survived, as I keep saying, 30 years of British persecution. How this happens does seem a bit far-fetched, does seem a bit of a tall tale. Well, it's time to let people in on what the British are trying to keep secret. They claim that I have a friend. And of course this friend is my old girlfriend who frankly has forgotten all about me more or less for more than, I don't know, 20 years, 25 years? I wouldn't know how long this lovely lady has forgotten all about me because she's got a life. And um, the fact is when I made friends, let's say, just to put it that way, with this girl back in the 80s, I also made friends with America. So you might say that my friend is the most powerful country in the world, and this explains why against ridiculous odds, somehow, by a mad combination, of whatever I've got, whatever some British people have helped with, <coughs> potentially, not that I actually recognise any British people um, these days, because, well, most of them are rather strange. <sighs> anyway, I've got friends all over the world, and these friends, I guess, Although, because they really are friends, they don't burden me with their status or identity. Um, I've got friends all over the world who are capable of influencing me, advising me, and setting me straight when I go too far into the ways of the nightmare which I've been living in um, and have escaped from. And of course, the British see this, I guess, the British authorities see that this continuing survival in spite of their mean malice and their perpetual hatred, they see this survival and eventual thriving, let us hope, um, as an affront to their dominance. And they have been getting progressively more truculent and aggressive and vicious. Because that's all they've got. That's all they can offer. And let's face it, that's not a way to inspire. That's not a way, that's not a way to live. Uh, whatever else my friends may, whoever they are, whatever else they may have been accused of at various times or whatever the popular belief is um, surrounding their activities, bearing in mind that they were public facing and gave out information to everybody long before the British even pretended to recognize that they had uh, organizations pursuing aims in the world, government organizations. Um, they understand, my friends, that the purpose of life is to be fulfilled and happy. And if you can't do that, if you don't promote that, and if you aren't even honest about recognizing that, then first of all you're no friend of mine, and second of all you're probably British. Which is why I've emigrated to Ireland and I can stay here as long as I like because even without an Irish passport the British passport that I managed to obtain which is a genuine one I'm sure they didn't anticipate this as an outcome but it's an EU passport as well that gives me 
absolute right to residency and employment in the Republic of Ireland. So, <laughs> so there you go. Um, um, that should set the record straight for most people. It's all very well to say it's been a hell of an adventure, but when my friend, which is the world, a large, a large component of that world being, let us say, America, when my friend has led me to stay in that situation and bide my time and has eventually acknowledged that I was right to bust a move, has exhausted all patience, has exhausted all tolerance that I had for Britain, trusting me as I trusted them, the Americans that is, um, they have essentially given the British every chance to prove that they are not monsters and while they may not as far as I am aware let's face it they're my friends they don't confide in me um, while they may or may not have exhausted their patience regarding Britain they do acknowledge that I have had enough and they do realize that it's time for me to get out and live as it would have been years ago if uh, the British hadn't fooled them. Fooled them possibly, lied to them about the kind of person I was and the kind of life I was supposed to be living. As for my old girlfriends, well, there will, I hope, be a time when I can sit across a table from such people. Excuse me. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, uh, um, I will sit across across from them at a table, I hope, and have a, a genuine verbal communication, a conversation, and find out, satisfy myself as to any um, events that may have transpired at the times that I knew these people, and then possibly... Um, should um, should uh, the truth prove to be in any way um, palatable to me, um, there may be possibilities of deepening my relationship with my friends. Um, this is possible. I may. I may not. I'm. I'm not a young man anymore. Um, I've been a gentleman adventurer. I've been. For sure, whether sponsored by trickery or not, I've been a rogue male. And uh, I had the delusion, let us say, for a long time that, uh, well, this is not a delusion. In a world of preferences, I would have had a mate. In a world which uh, no, does not necessarily... Um, allow preferences, this is a cause for dissatisfaction and this would make me into a rogue male in the real world which possibly lies somewhere in between um, it may be a simple matter that my preferred mate, my preferences were mistaken and simply not possible because the ladies involved were not that interested. It's a fact of life. It's something I have no problem recognizing. But it's something which prurient, intrusive, somewhat demented British people seem to have attached themselves to, uh, thus making further progress um, difficult let us say so uh, 
Yes, I'm glad to be out of Britain and I'm glad that I've preserved my relationship with my true friends. Um, as for Britain, I, I really look forward to forgetting all about the place. Obviously, if Britain keeps putting itself in my face, I will, I will make it talk to the hand. Um, hmm. To put it another way, I will continue to publicise and disseminate information concerning the British way of conduct towards people who simply, merely want to be happy. Thank you.